like really clean. I feel like that's good. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I'm back from a, a very long hiatus. It's been <laughs> insane. I've been at school. I after spring break, everything was just so crazy, and I haven't had time to film. But I'm back. I'm back. And today, <coughs> I thought I would do my favorite makeup and skincare products. Yes. So, without further ado, let's start with um, skin cover up. So, recently, I've not liked using a lot of foundation just because it can be super cakey and make my skin not able to breathe. Which, girl gotta breathe, you know. <laughs> you know, a little bit of O2 in, <laughs> CO2 out, you know what I mean. So, if I use any foundation, it goes on really easily and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation. This is the foundation that I like to use. As for concealer, <laughs> Time to be basic, as if this isn't already basic. I love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If the sun doesn't want to stick, so whatever. <laughs> no skin cancer for me. <laughs> another thing for the face is uh, color correcting uh, cream. Um, this is another concealer, and it's by NYX. Um, if I'm, I usually use just a powder bronzer, but if I want to use a cream. I'll use the uh, Maybelline Master Contour Stick, which is double-sided, and it has like the lighter side and then the darker side. I just burped. As for blush, I love the look of like a natural kind of sun-kissed face. Um, I use the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. Look how cute it is. Um, and it's in the color Pot. To set my face, I use Kat Von D's setting powder. Highlight never lets me down. Too Faced Candlelight Glow. I sometimes use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow um, kit, but I've kind of not used that in a while. I usually use that in the summer because it's got like golds and like rose golds, which pop better if my skin is actually darker. And when I mean darker, I just mean less vampire-like. So for eyes. Um, Tarlet in bloom. Sometimes I go back to my oldie, my baby, the naked smoky eye. Staple. Primer for your eyelids. Urban Decay Primer Potion. Eyeliner. Also Urban Decay um, Perversion. 100%. Put a wing on. Be your best pointy freaking kill a Frickin butthole guy with your point. <laughs> Mascara, I have two. One I use more than the other, but this one is also very, very good if you want that natural, super long extended eyelash. And it's by Lash Food that I got from Ulta. Um, it's double sided, like a double wand. Each has a purpose. The step one is the extending fibers. Guys, I'm about to do it. Oh god, I already, I already screwed up. <laughs> My go to the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fame Effect. She's just, she would never do any harm. She looks like a ballet shoe doing the nutcracker. Oh! Oh my god! My lips. I am a huge fan of EOS. People are like, it's so 2013. Frick you, it's chapstick. You're 2013. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sephora collection, lip stories, okay? I have two, I have Labyrinth City and then I have Tan Lines, yes. They're so cute. They're, not only are they affordable, but yeah, they're $8, they're so cute, they have little and they're the amazing. It's like your white mocha with an extra shot. You know, MAC lipsticks, they've always just done 
to the nines. Um, one of their lines of lipsticks that I like is the Lip Tensity. I got this last summer. Oh my gosh. Another one that I really, really like is it's the uh, liquid lip color and it's it goes from it's applied liquid and goes to matte, like literal matte. <laughs> Brushes that I like to use. I am super, super, super into this. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. It's the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. I use it for my bronzer and my um, blush. Another brush that I use that I love for contouring, if I really want to, you know, make it slice, slicey, um, it's the Sephora brush and it's no, no, number 77 and it's called the Pro Contour Blender and it's got like this super crazy looking brush top so you can look like David by Michelangelo. For highlight, big fan brush girl, make it look super natural, I love it. Um, this is from IT Cosmetics. And then for skincare, we'll start with um, face wash, the St. Ives um, Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I get blackheads that are really deep into my nose or my chin and if I scrub it'll just scrub them right off and leave it super smooth. Another cleanser which I just recently started that I love is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. It is not only a cleanser but it's also a makeup remover that you just kind of wipe and rub around and it'll take it off. For moisturizer, the dual action moisturizer and she's great. I don't know why I call everything a she. Why isn't it a heat? You know what? We're gonna give make this a heat. Um, this is the sample size, but it's lasted me a while. Um, it's the milk makeup sunshine oil. It's just like a rolly ball that you rub on your face. It smells like oranges and like lemons, and it's just it's happy. Isn't he cute? Self-tanner that I like to use. I'm a big Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, whatever. Um, I do it in light medium, once again. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Sorry I've been gone for a while. The summer it just started for me. I just got home. Um, I'm hoping I, this summer I have some ideas that I'd like to post. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!